Have you ever tried to learn a new skill or get better at an old one? What if you lost the ability to move as you did before and need rehabilitation? At the Assistive Robotics Lab at Virginia Tech, we're studying a new method of helping people learn to move in certain ways. This could be used for motion training, like learning to throw a basketball, or for rehabilitation, like relearning how to comb hair or do other activities of daily living. The technology could also be used with virtual reality or augmented reality to make the experience even more immersive. Haptic feedback is providing information to someone through the sense of touch. Typically, this is done with vibration or a force feedback joystick. We're investigating a new method for haptic feedback through providing torques to a person's joints with a lightweight exoskeleton. The exoskeleton pushes gently on your joint to encourage you to move in a particular way. It isn't very strong, so you can easily move in a different way if you want to. But if you follow its guidance, you could learn a new motion pattern for your whole arm or leg. We've started with a simple elbow exoskeleton to understand the fundamentals of how people respond to joint torques. We're studying how much torque it takes for someone to notice the haptic feedback at all, and how well a person can follow guidance from the exoskeleton. In some of our experiments, a test subject has to push different buttons to show how much power the exoskeleton was providing them. In other experiments, the person follows the guidance of the exoskeleton, moving as best as they can with this augmented motion. These experiments are laying groundwork for a wide range of applications, from assisting those with limited mobility to bringing a new dimension to physical therapy. Our lab works constantly with industry partners and student teams to bring new technology to life.